Hey guys, so let's talk about The Ugly Duckling. The Ugly Duckling was a story by Hans Christian Andersen. It was written a long, long time ago in Denmark. It's about a duckling who is treated badly all his life and excluded from the group because he is different. This describes how many people with autism feel. Let's see. You're constantly told that you should act differently that you there is something wrong with you there are classes in school telling you how you should behave how the world doesn't want you to be the way that you are that you are pretty much not supposed to be the way that you are and then you go to people and you ask them for help, and they say, well, you should be more like me. The cat tells the duckling to learn to purr. The hen tells the duckling to learn to lay eggs. Finally, when they get older, the duckling finds out that, finds a group that he belongs to that he feels like he is safe in and that is a group of swans now for people with autism this is different this can be different groups this isn't just people with autism okay people with autism do not go with people with autism people with autism often find that other people with autism do not have the same interests as them that's the point Find people with the same interests. Find people that are beautiful in the same way that you're beautiful. Okay? It's really irritating when you're put into groups and you're classified by your diagnosis and you're told, oh, you have autism, so go and hang out with people who have autism like you. That is discrimination. How about you appreciate people who are different from you and just treat them the way you treat everyone else? And if you treat, and if you are treating them the way you're treating everyone else, and it's badly and it makes people feel left out, then you're a jerk. Okay? Put simply, I was placed in a class when I was in high school hated it because it was just about people with autism and how we were not good for society and how we need to change. No, we don't need to change. Society needs to change. I am done adjusting for society. Society, please adjust for me. Okay? Sorry for the rant, but that is the moral of the ugly duckling, it is not to undermine Hans Christian Andersen being diagnosed with autism posthumously it is not to undermine him or his morals. It isn't to give people inspiration and say, you can be just like him. No, it's to say you are not alone and his stories of acceptance should be used, in my opinion, as educational tools and learning opportunities for children to learn to treat people who are different from them with respect. And realize that there is beauty in everyone, and not just people who have autism, or people who are different. 
If that is his legacy, how is that a bad one? <sighs> Sorry, I just read an article and it made me really, really upset. So, if your legacy is anything, please let it be like Hans Christian Andersen's and just be, accept everyone for who they are. Hans Christian Andersen was a bisexual man in a time period when bisexuality was not accepted. He wrote The Little Mermaid when he, before his crush who was a male but because he wasn't accepted because that wasn't unacceptable he was rejected his character Ariel dies at the end from because she stabs herself because she wants to be just like because she wants would rather die and be with die than not be with the person she loves. If that's how he felt and that's in a world that judged him, how do you think people who are not accepted today feel? In a world where everyone's supposed to be accepted, why aren't people who have mental illness or mental conditions accepted? We are outside of your little social norms and outside of social acceptance and we're fighting with you, but you're not helping us. We feel unaccepted. You keep giving us a name and we just want to be treated like everyone else, okay? Please stop treating us like we're different and weird and look like we're in a zoo. Stop staring at us when we do our little things that we do to calm ourselves down. Stop acting like we're the difference and the problem with society. If you're looking at us like we are, what does that make you? Please answer that in the comments. Because that is a very serious question that you should be asking yourself on a daily basis. Bye. The person we are going to talk about on our next episode is Albert Einstein.